Okay. And now let's work our way up his face. Now, one of the things I'm noticing about mine is that I think my nose needs to be just a little bigger. So I'm going to just do that quickly before we carry on. And you, you may find you have to make adjustments as well as you go along. So I'm going to bring that down a bit. And I might have to wait because it's actually kind of wet, so I might have to wait. Let's see if I can get some of this color in here. This is, again, good for you to see me working these things out because this is what happens when you make a painting. It's, it doesn't come out of the gate perfect. You, you fiddle. Okay, let's leave that for now, and I might still do some more adjusting. So first thing I'm going to do right now is I'm going to get that eye rendered because if I can have the eye in the right place, a lot of the rest of it will work out. So I'm still not 100% sure I got it in the right spot, but let's just put it in here and see what happens. So it's a little bit of a round eye. You, some of you may prefer your, your round brush for this. Cleaning my brush and I'm going to add that white bit too because that's important. So now I need to get a better sense of whether or not that eye is in the right place. I'm just going to use my round brush just to fine tune the shape of that eye. So yeah, I, 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 there's part of me that thinks it, it needs to move over a little bit. So I'm going to move it over. And what I can do, like when I bring the fur around, I can cover this side if, it, if the eye is, is going to be too, too big. Okay. So I'm going to leave that at that for now. And we'll see where we end up before I put the highlight in. So then I'm going to do the horns because that's another fairly simple part of it all. So I'm just going to go into my black to start with because we know the bottom part of the horn is going to be the darkest. And just paint a black area on both sides. And then I'm just going to go right into some, well, I have some gray, but if not, I'm just going to grab some white. And I'm going to grab some of the white that has blue on it from earlier because that's not going to matter. Whenever you have black, you can put whatever color you want. So then we just finish off the shape of the horn. Again, I'm making it smaller in the beginning if you, so that if you have to make adjustments, you don't end up with it too big. So while the black paint is still wet, I would work the gray tone right into it so that you don't have a hard line. And then stand back and take a look at it. So already I can see that this horn is bigger than this one. So I'm just going to grab some more of the gray tone and I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger. I'm going to start down here and just add a little bit more to it. Okay. 
shit for that. So what I've done is I've got now a clean brush and I'm just coming back and I'm just going to try and move this line down a bit there. Okay. So that's pretty good. I'm going to go back into my black and come up from the bottom again into my white area. This is the push and pull. So you, you, you're, you're putting, you're adding on and you're taking off and you're going over and you're doing it until you like what you see. Finish that off with just a nice white highlight. And I might have to wait a bit to come back and do another one just till it's dry. I think I will actually. Let's 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 leave that. It's too wet. Okay, we'll come back and put our highlight on when it's dry. So then again, you 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 sit back, you look at it. I think this corner needs to be slightly bigger. So this is a challenge and a half, but we're going to give it a go. Okay, we're going to leave that at that. Hamish doesn't have to be perfect, and already he's looking pretty cute. Okay, so now I'm going to continue on the area around the nose. So we know that we've got a little bit of face coming along the side here. I'm going to just get some black on my brush and I'm just going to go around the edge of his nose. It happens a little bit on this side, but you don't see quite as much. This is going to be wispy later. We know that the top of his little bit of nose that we've already done. Ah, now look, I've got... I've got to fill that in. Okay, we're going to clean the brush from the black. And I've got to go back into my flush tone. This is too, this is too pointy. That's not how that goes at all. That's better. A little brown on my brush. That's better. Okay, so clean that off. And then go back into your black. And there's a, a nice little black area on top of his nose. Try not to go over the nice highlight you did, but if you do like I just did, you just paint the highlight in again later. Okay. Then we have another little line up here. And these things may have to be um, gone over again after.